Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to episode 4 in our campaign game with SGS Battle for Stalingrad. We've played 12 days so far, we're nearing the end of our second week, and I have the map behind me here highlighted in the red areas are the Russian controlled areas and the green natural colors are the German controlled areas. Those are our forces, we're playing the aggressor. So all in all, I feel like we've done fairly well down here in the southern part of the city. We do have this pocket near the grain elevator that we've been unable to finish off. I'm hopeful we can finish off this in the next few days here. And then our plan, we last left off, we were repulsed attacking Mami of Kurgan. We did make some good progress in the last week or so in this area, just to the south of that in the city. I was looking at the map though, and I'm thinking our up kind of plan for the next stage is rather than going right back at Mami of Kurgan, I think I want to try to come down here and hit the chemical factory and then consolidate these troops on this side of Mami of Kurgan into this zone here to try to take this. That would allow us to isolate these two zones because I think what the Russians are doing when they're losing, they're just retreating and fall falling back. And then we just have to constantly kind of fight those units all over again. But if we could trap these units in here from being able to retreat, we could then push up here into the Red October factory works, steel works, and the worker settlement. And that would allow us to consolidate our lines and make a strong push up towards the northern half of the city. So perhaps this could be a big week to week and a half here if we can get these objectives. Let's get started. So um, we've gone through kind of the card phase here. We've got some art orders phase. I'm gonna click on to the next phase. Reinforcements, a rubble accumulation, full strength. That's excellent. We've rebuilt some rubble and we have some barbed wire. Very good. I'm gonna figure out where to put that. Okay, again, what I think is helpful about these units is that they prevent the Soviets from organically, basic view, and recapturing zones. I think we wanna drop the barbed wire right in here into the waterworks area that we just took because that will allow us to leave that and not have to worry about that. Uh-oh, this doesn't sound good. Withdrawal, ID withdrawal. On September 29th, elements of the 29th division will be reassigned to Army Group Reserve. Plan accordingly. Oh, God. In game turns, all units of the 29th ID motorized will be removed from play next turn. Take appropriate measures. Do not leave a gap in your lines. Oh, blimey. What? Fourth Panzer Army requests anti-tank capability to hold the line against Soviet 64th Army tank raids south of the city. The Romanian units in the area have only antiquated 37 millimeter guns. In response, General Paulus sends the independent 60, 670th Panzer Jag Panther Battalion to help. They will leave September 27th. Okay. Well, we get some more stuff here. Rubble. Okay. I'm going to figure out where to put that, but I think it's pretty easy. I think, you know, we got rubble there already. And we do not have rubble up here, I think. Anything up there? No. So we're going to put it up here. Be able to kind of help defend that one if we need to. Oh, reinforcements, though. We got some reinforcements. Great. I'm going to figure out where this... 27th where the 29th is is right now so we don't leave a gap in our lines because I think that's where we want to bring in these reinforcements the the 29th division is about 10 of our units and they're up here the units that were attacking on Mamayev Kurgan they're also down here some of the units in the waterworks and a lot of the units down here around it. it's, it's a ton of stuff now we do have a bunch of reinforcements coming but altogether, we're gonna be down about six of our best units, which means that I think on this turn, it makes sense to have them attack as hard and as fast as possible because we're gonna lose them right away. So we might as well deplete them. I hate to say this, but we, we, we probably don't have to worry about casualties as much as we normally would because they're gonna be leaving us. So with that in mind, I'm gonna kind of plan out our orders here, although I think we're still gonna go with the same plan. So I was hoping to use this major command card and actually spend a victory point to activate more units this turn because we are leading by five points right now. So I feel like we can burn a little bit of victory points up for speed, but I think that has to happen earlier in the turn. So I wasn't able to do that. Instead, I've activated uh, the units down here just to the south of the grain elevator so that we can come up and try to take that and get rid of that pocket there. I did activate all the units that attacked uh, Mami of Kurgan. However, I used some reconnaissance here to kind of spot out what's going on in the Lazur chemical plant. And it looks like we attack in force. I think we can take that. It's not tremendously strong here, which would cut these units off. I also kind of ex kind of explored this this unit, these units in here. I think I activated units over here to the west. 
I think if we can have these units attack here, we might be able to get that, which in effect would still isolate all these units. So that's, our plan is still the same, but I was hoping to activate more units. I'll get going on the air and artillery bombardment and then move our forces up and then we'll execute these attacks. All right, I was able to use this major command. It did cost us a victory point, so we're down to 19. That allowed me to activate two more units in this region here and bring a major assault to the area just to the south of Mamayev Kurgan. And then we took the troops that were north of Mamayev Kurgan and instead of having them attack there, we are having them come into the Lazur chemical plant also kind of bombing everything we can in here with air and uh, artillery just to try to pound this area as well as the units behind that and kind of get an attack going here against the grain elevator too. Also, additionally, those reinforcements that we brought in just over my head here, they couldn't quite make it there. One tank battalion could, but most of the units are sitting there. We'll bring them in in the next turn perhaps. But looks like we're able to accomplish kind of what we wanted to do Let's go now to the attacks. I'll go through the air bombardments and artillery ones. Save the big ones and we'll look at those. All right, we got our big attacks going. We're going to start with the Lazur Chemical Works because that will cut the attackers off. This is going to be a big battle here. Attacker cards. Do we want to use surprise attack? What are our 75%? I think we will save that. You shoot first. No, we're going to save that one. We're not going to use any cards. Defender cards, what's coming? Aggressive fighter squadrons, enemy air units, silver fighters disturbed. Something's going to happen here. But anyway, okay, let's go. I'm hoping we can take this. Good. Some hits. We wiped out some fixed defensive positions. Let's get some good hit. Nice. Really good artillery hits. However, the odds have shifted in their favor. We're going to kind of still hold on this. Hopefully we can take it here. I feel like the odds should be better in our favor. They're down to just a little bit here. We're going to push on. Come on, let's drive them out. That looks good. Yes. Site is routed. Mobile units retreat. Victory axis. Excellent. That cuts them off. Now, let's go down to the food combine here, which is not necessarily a major attack. They just have the grain elevator left. We're not going to use a card there, although it only says 80%. I guess this is a strong fixed position. This is the one we've been having trouble, trouble taking out, but let's see if we can get it now. No damage. Come on. Minus one. Attacker cards. No, I'm not going to spend them here. So come on, let's get this. Damage it. Nice. Down to one hit point. That looked good. Let's finish it off. Excellent. Victory Axis. Now we'll have to assault that stronghold. Now we go to Dolgi Krutol Ravines, which are just to the south of Mamayev Kurgan. 84% chance for victory. We're not going to use a card there. Let's get our air assets in here. Nice. Some good hits first. Taking on some armor. And there's mines in here. Again, this would be a nice little position. We have a fairly strong attacker, but these units are pretty strong. Okay. Still, our odds look pretty good. Attacker cards. Nope, we're not going to use them. Let's keep going. Let's put the hits on. Drive these Russians back. Nice. Soviet side is routed. They retreat. Most excellent land battle results. It went exactly as we were hoping that time. Wait. How come this is still Soviet held? I thought we took that. How do they still have units there? It said, didn't it say we won? Did they win? Those two units held? Gah! Did I just read that wrong? What the heck? Anyway, okay. Well, it did not go exactly as we planned. This little stronghold is left here and we're gonna have to take it again. That throws a whole wrench, monkey wrench in our plans, but we have isolated the area, which does help. Anyway, let's go to our air defense move. I'll put our air units up and then we'll drive on here. I don't, we had that area. Air defense is up. I've only used two of our four points. I'm not replacing any units with that 27, 29th division because basically they're gonna uh, withdraw here. So let's see what the Soviets do now. I'll play through this and kind of show as the attacks come up here. So we have some Soviet artillery attacks on our forces there. No damage, that's good. They are attacking us here. Oh my God, they're trying to take this guy. They probably will take it too, right? 32% chance that, 32% oh, chance that they win here. Okay, they missed. Let's take out some casualties here. Come on, the rebels got a hold. Push them back. Victory axis, excellent. More artillery bombardments on our units. Two hits, oof, destroyed some tanks. Okay, we'll take that though. It's not too bad. Air defense move. We'll see their air defenses come up. Worries there. They're trying to defend Mamayev Kurgan. We can see them flying planes over there. 
Here we go, 27th of September. Summary, no real significant damage there. Okay, we got some observers here. Let's get three order cards, excellent. And army support, good. Take the hill, Stukas, Paulus. Okay, we got a lot of stuff. Three cards to discard, okay. Your morale is increased by one in this battle. I'm gonna kind of figure out which cards to discard here. So I've gone through the card phase. I had to give up some assault cards, but we have some good assault cards, so I think we're okay there. We're now in the reinforcements phase. We can give some supply to the sixth army. We will do that. And we're going to play it. Oh, reinforcements here. Nice. Okay. Well, I think that's obvious. We don't want to bring him in up here. I don't see how that helps us. We want to bring him in right there. That's good. And select destinations that have barbed wire. Good. So we definitely want to put this down by the water here so we can help reinforce that defensive position. Sixth Army support stack. Again, we're going to give it to this group right here because we're going to launch that massive assault on Mummy of Kurgan now. It is time for our second attack to take those. Reinforcements summary. Great. Good. And now we can give out some orders. We'll do that. Our plan for the next two days is to try to break down this pocket that we've got here and maybe take, if we can, I'd like to take the Grain Elevator or Volga Station, these two strong points that we have left behind. We also have to watch out for these units along the water here. So we might need to move some infantry back in here to defensive positions too. Lots of things to worry about, think about. We're well, not worry about, we're having fun, but think about. Okay, I will get started. We're gonna activate some units here. We've activated three, basically three zones there. Army artillery shortage. Army suffers growing ammunition shortages and heavy artillery rounds. Come on, people. Starting turn five, there is an increasing chance each turn that a random number of heavy artillery units become unavailable. The effect lasts one turn. Great. Okay. What do we got here? We can examine one enemy stack. Let's see. I think we know there's a ton of stuff in Mummy of Kurgan. That's not a problem. We can only attack it with 14 forces anyway. So let's see what's in the oil refinery down here. Kind of curious. Oh, not much. Only four units and it's weak. So we can most definitely, we're smart, we can probably take this and this at least, and at least isolate Mamiyev Kurgan, although I would like to collapse the whole pocket here. That's definitely a weak spot. Okay, air and artillery bombardment. I'm gonna allocate that and get our forces moving, and then we'll execute our attacks. Our goal for these next two days, we can attack these two pockets, this pocket with everything we've got, and hopefully take one of these strong points as well. God, artillery is completely gone this turn. We don't have any. So this is the artillery shot at shortage. Not what we were hoping for. And we lost one of our air squadrons too. Okay, great. Things are going swimmingly. All right, I got some of our reinforcements. I did use another victory point card in major command to move a couple more units here. So I've got, we've got a bunch of units here on the grain elevator to finally, to try to assault that. Not finally, because we haven't assaulted it for a while. And then we do have a big assault, Mame of Kurgan going off. I screwed up the movement. I ordered this army to go up here. So I should have ordered, I, I just botched it. I should have had them come down here. We could have attacked both places, but I messed up the order, which is going to give the Soviets a retreat spot, which is unfortunate because I think that could be a big factor. This will probably become a big pocket, but we are attaching, ma attacking a major offensive here and a major offensive on Mummy of Kurgan. I will go through now and we'll uh, execute the simpler attacks and then we will see the big ones. So. All right, we have three big attacks. We've got an assault on the grain elevator building, Mami of Kurgan, and the Dolgi Krutal ravines that I thought we took last time, but apparently we didn't. Let's start with our assault on the grain elevator. Yes, we're gonna go for it. We have a massive force here with reinforcements and a lot of other units. We are not gonna use a card. Let's see if we can take it. A lot of forces in here. We've knocked down one. 59% chance of success. Yeah, let's do this card. We, we're kind of having too many extra cards, so we'll we use this assault. Give us a plus one bonus. See if that helps us out here. Oh, only one damage. Come on, this is a strong garrison. Let's get them. Yes! Soviet unit, it, what? Did it say they're routed and then how did they win? That doesn't make sense to me. Oh well, okay, we're gonna go to the ravines first. Let's do this. And, oh my God, they're pretty much evacuated here. We're gonna, where'd they go? They must have fallen back into Kur Kur the, um, the, the stronghold there. Mummy of Kurgan, but easy victory for us. We overwhelmed them. That means this is probably gonna be a lot harder. We didn't scout it out beforehand. 75% chance of winning. We're, let's shoot first here. We'll take that. And that's good. Bombard. 
Let's see if that helps us out here. 70% chance of victory here for the hill to fall. That didn't go very well on the assault, whatever is going off here. There we go. Now we beat one unit down. Let's get it. Oh, come on. I am going to actually use our Stukas here. Enemy units suffer two hits in battle. We want this one. Let's pound it. Yes, big hits there. They are faltering. Let's take it. Let's get it. Come on. Yes, Soviet side is routed. Mobile units retreat. Victory Soviets, how does... I don't get it. Siegeless, we can... A grain elevator building, the food combine. Siege level three, modifiers two. What do we need? Siege failed, a six. Okay. Siege results. So they still hold the grain elevator. I confess, I don't get... Are they still holding the... Okay, so this one did fall. We got this one. But how are they still holding that? We basically wiped everything out. I don't get how it says they're retreating and they still hold it. That seems like counterintuitive to me. But anyway, we will continue air defense move. Okay, let's see what we can get here. We reinforced some of our weakened divisions and allocated some air defense. Let's see what the Soviets do. Okay. Got a lot of cards. They're going to have to discard some. My goodness, they got a lot of cards. Yeah, there they go. Discard those. All right, that's the end of that. We'll see what they do. Reinforcements. We will be back after once if something interesting happens on their turn. Here comes some attacks. Take some hits. All right. Another ground assault. Oh, they've got a good chance of attacking the barbed wire. We're not going to give our barbed wire a morale card. They're going to get this. Oh, these units are really weak. They're going to beat us, I bet. Hanging on there. Ah, oh, God. Now we gotta go clean that up. Okay. Soviets are getting to be pesky here. They're not going according to plan. What? Oh my God. 10745, there's a big Soviet offensive here. We, at, what is going on here? Okay. Oh my gosh, this is a major attack. Victory Soviets, they blew our armor away. Where is that? Up here? Oh. Okay. I got air defense there. Darn it. Okay. Soviets are getting to be tougher than I thought. Okay, we got a, a prisoner's interrogated card, but look at this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god, ten battalions up here. This is a major Soviet counterattack. They just wiped out two of our tank battalions up here. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, we do have a force here, a, a strong force of 10 units that just moved down to reinforce this area. So I think we can hit them hard, but this is not going according to plan. And we do have a bunch of troops here. We'll figure something out. Okay. All right, so Here's our situation. We have lost this ground back here at the bottom end with that little across the river attack that they put in. I feel like we're going to have to answer to that. I do want to try again to assault Mami F. Kurgan. I think we're going to have this large force split into two. One's going to try to take what we know is the weakened oil refinery. The other rest are going to launch an attack on Mami F. Kurgan. Then I'm going to have these units in Lazur Chemical Plant launch an attack up here on Hill 107 try to stop this Soviet counterattack. Also going to activate some units down here. In this near the grain elevator to divert over here to take care of these infantry. And I think we're learning the lesson that we can't leave these riverbank hexes, these riverbank zones undefended because the Soviets are sending units across the river and Krodic causing annoyances that way. So we will get busy here. Let's allocate some orders. First up, we know we want this big stack to go. That's for sure. Next up, we know we want this stack here, the one up here, where'd they go? Mommy of Kurgan to the south, right here. They are gonna get busy. And then the last one I think we will try to do here is this unit down here because we do need to divert some forces. I don't wanna let this counterattack to the south part of the river get out of hand. It's a little bit of a waste of resources. Oh yes, okay, fine, another shortage. Army suffers growing ammunition shortages and heavy artillery rounds. Yeah, we know that. Oh, does that mean it hit us again? Ah, oh, dear, okay. Observers, we can observe one enemy stack. Okay, let's see what I wanna know. I 
kind of wonder what's here. Could we cut them off? Because we know this is massive. But if we came here and cut them off from behind, it's just rubble. That might be an interesting move. We could at least send some units up here and have some to cut them off. Attack this first, give them no place to retreat. Then if we win, they're done. So let's see if we can cut that off. I think that's a good idea. All right, so we're gonna get our air and artillery bombardment underway here, and then we will get our units moving and see if we can get some better luck with our attacks here. All right, here we go. We have uh, diverted a bunch of troops from here, from this uh, grain elevator back here to try to hit this infantry. We also had a battalion of reinforcements that came in, so I think we might have enough to take it. They were pretty weak. Uh, we left some troops here in the grain elevator to hit. I've spread a few infantry out here to start uh, defending this riverfront because of those pesky attacks. Got a big attack coming off against Mummy of Kurgan. I used these troops from the south here that had just taken this area. We did capture the oil refinery without a fight, so we've got these troops isolated now. I'm attacking in behind this counterattack here to try to take this region behind it. I don't know if we have enough to take out that rubble. We'll see. And then a big attack coming up here against that counterattack. But I don't feel like we're strong enough to take it. I feel like they are stronger than us, so we might just hit them once and then retreat. But let's see how this goes. All right, we're going to do the smaller battles. I'll be back for the big ones. All right, a lot of big attacks here. Let's see what we can do. We're going to try. I want to see if we, I think this red October sediment. Let's see if we can get this here. They didn't leave anything behind, but there is a big rubble kind of position here. We are not going to risk a card. I think we're going to need those for later. Let's see what happens here. Nope, we're not going to use that either. Let's fire. Good, rubble reduced. Hopefully our armor and infantry can take this. Yes, victory access. Good. So that we can break through too. We could break through and add our forces to this attack here. Let's do it. Yes, for sure. Bombardment and combat rumble switches to us. Excellent. Good. So we've cut those units off, which I think could be helpful if supply plays any factor. But I don't quite know how supply works in this game. Let's now go to some of our assaults here. I do want to try this assault on the chemical works here. I I don't think our odds are very good. That's a 60% chance. But I feel like they just haven't worked for us. So they tell us we're winning, but... Okay, one garrison's wiped out. Be nice if we can get it. No luck there. Victory access. Oh. But... Hmm, I'm not sure what happened. It looked like there were still troops there. Oh yeah, we just took it. Excellent, good. Let's try this assault on the oil refiner. We do have some troops down here. Let's just see how this goes. I'm not sure we've got a good chance. 75, oh, there's not much in there. About a 75% chance of victory. Let's bombard it. No luck. We got a hit, that garrison retreats. Yes, that's get there, let's get it. One more time. Victory axis, excellent, we took two strong points. We're gonna have to 22 victory points to 13, that's good. Let's try an assault on the grain elevator, which has not worked at all. This one is particularly tough, but gives us a 75% chance of victory this time. Let's see if we get better luck this time. Any luck here? No, nothing. This grain elevator is proving to be pesky. Ah, victory Soviets. They are just continuing to hold. Okay, these are our two biggest attacks, though. I don't think we're going to win at one hill 107 and a half here. Let's try it, though. Oh, my gosh. 57% chance of victory. Yes, we're going to use this card, and we're going to use Paulus. We're throwing everything we can at them here. They are throwing some defense at us, too. It's, this is going to be a big battle. Hopefully, we get some hits here. But they have a lot of strong units here. Let's see how it goes. Oh, nice. We got a lot of hits. That was good. Excellent. It puts us to a 55% chance of victory. We put on a lot of damage. Let's go for it. Let's keep going. Oh, that was bad. Okay, we're going to retreat. Yeah, 50% chance, 48% chance of victory. Let's get out of here. That was some heavy casualties there. But I felt like we wore them down and hopefully have gotten them cut off there too. Let's go to our big battle, third attempt now, the assault on Mummy of Kurgan. Gives us a 96% chance of win. Where did all those units go? They they were here. Did they just vanish? Or do they go into the cistern, That maybe that defensive position? That's interesting. 
Maybe they just weren't many left. Oh, that was the one that I thought we won last time. But we they said we didn't, but maybe we just really pummeled them there. Siege list. Okay, food combine. Let's get this. Surrender level two. Come on, let's get a good roll here. Siege failed. Okay, that didn't work. Siege list. Mommy, have Kurgan. It's in here. We don't know. Siege level four. Let's get it. Siege failed. Our sieges always fail. I've never rolled less than a five there. God. Okay. Not that I'm complaining. Okay. Airbase return. Air defensive move. Okay. So, not all in all, I feel like we've somewhat recovered here. We retook that zone down there. We have the grain elevator, which just will not fall. Volga station, which is another strong point that just hasn't fallen. We haven't really attacked it yet. But we did get Lazur Chemical Works, the oil refinery. We have finally taken Mamayev Kurgan up here, which is good. We have this massive counterattack that we really have to worry about. But we did put a good bit of hurt on them here, even though we had to retreat quite a bit there. I mean, we. And we have a whole fresh force over here that we can hit them with next time. And it depends on what they do. I assume they'll probably try to re... Maybe they, I don't know where they'll go. Who knows what they'll do. But if supply means anything, we've got them cut off and they can't go anywhere. We've isolated this pocket and taken this chunk of the city. I feel like this is a good point for us here to... Uh, let's actually do the Soviet move and then we'll stop. So air defense move. I'll put these up. We'll see what the Soviets do to react and then we'll go. All right, air defense is up. Get some more cards, armor efficiency. We've got some replacements, especially for that assault up there. So I will see what we can do with replacements here. How many do we have? Just four. Ugh, that's not good. Okay, we'll put some replacements in though. All right, we spent all our replacements basically just trying to reinforce the units that had gotten beaten up pretty bad here. Let's see how the Soviets respond here as September winds to a close. Okay, we'll come back when they do their actions here. God, they're trying to take the Lazur Chemical Works, and they have a very good chance of doing it. Oh, man, we're going to play the defensive card. We have to push out of there. That's not good. Oh, man, this is a massive Soviet counterattack. They just blew our units away, too. Oh, man, plus one bonus. It gives them a 53% chance, though. They're playing all their cards here. we got to fight. I don't think we're going to win, are we? Okay, we're hanging on. Come on, we got some tough units here. Gives us a one-third chance of victory. We're gonna hold. Let's hold, hold. Victory axis, we held. Mo oh, wow, look at this. Okay. I wonder where they come from. Oh my God. Okay, we have no chance of winning here. Oh, they just rolled over us. They are gonna crush us. That's the Red October Factory Works elements we took. Yeah, Axis, Soda, yeah, we, we got crushed there. A little bit of random artillery fire. The Soviets getting a little bit... Goodness gracious. This is a major counteroffensive here. Air defense move coming up. Okay, let's see what happened here. We'll get through our cards, then we'll see what happened here. Okay, so... We held on on the chemical works. We fought off that major attack that came from here. They still have all these units up here and they launched a major counteroffensive. They have a massive, uh, just a s incredibly strong force right in here. We do have some good troops nearby, but this creates all sorts of problems. My God, where'd they all come from? We don't have enough units to stop them. And with that, we'll end here. We'll be back. First of October, we've gone through the month of September. All in all, I am happy with our progress, but the the momentum definitely shifting here to the Soviets as we kind of slide into October, we got lots of problems. We've still got some strong points behind us. I mean, we can't, we've got some good units in here that we can push up, but boy, that was some pretty nasty attacks on us there. Let me know what you think. If you've got advice, tips, and thoughts, we're, I'm all ears. We'll see you in the next episode. I'll put a link to it as soon as it's ready. Bye.